Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Sandy Claus. Mary Lipsmiths. What's going on, guys? This is Baddest by Fitness, and I want to come at you with a video. I'm hoping to make this fairly quick, um, but I want to highlight my training program. So my current training program, what I'm running right now, I'm going to walk through it and explain it, and then you guys, hopefully, you can emulate it if you want to, um, because I know that there are a few of you that may want to. Um, so I'll just explain what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why I laid it out the way that I lay it out, um, and kind of run through some potential questions that you may have. And then on anything that I don't cover, you guys can feel free to message me, um, email me in the comments, or, or you know, email me or write me in the comments, whichever you prefer, and uh, I can try to explain whatever. But hopefully, you know, this will be a program that you can follow, um, kind of ad nauseum, and then um, can take you into the new year and to some new gains. So let's get in and get after it. Let's get rolling. Go ahead and break. <laughs> All right, let's get into it and let's get after it. Okay, so first and foremost, um, I always wanna say that the reason why I'm doing this video is for uh, Sabrina and her son, Scott. Sabrina recently wrote me a letter and we kinda had some exchange back and forth. And she happened to tell me that her and Scott trained together and that Scott tries to follow my program as best as he can by kind of piecing together what it is that I'm doing. So I figure I'll just go ahead and give you my program and we can talk through it. And that way everyone out there just kind of knows exactly how I'm doing things. And if you're so inclined, you can follow along. First caveat that I got to throw at you is that this program is very powerlifting centric um, and I, I'm interested in powerlifting. So that's why I constructed the program the way I constructed the program. So if you have other goals um, that aren't powerlifting, this might not be the best thing or the best way for you to optimize your training for your goals. But if your goal is to just get stronger, this program will absolutely work for you because you know Nat is also following this program, has gotten very strong and um, hasn't competed in powerlifting. So that's the first caveat. Second thing to let you guys know is that this is essentially a conjugate method program, which means I have a maximal effort day and then I have a dynamic effort day. Um, and I'll explain that as we go along, but you just need to understand that there is maximal effort and dynamic effort, and so they are, they are different. And I'll try to explain my dynamic days as well, um, although briefly. Um, so last caveat to throw at you is that you can kind of construct this program however you choose. You can make this more tailorable to you. You can include more variations or less variations or different variations depending on the availability of, of stuff and, and equipment around you. So depending on your personal individual circumstances, you may need to do things different because you might not be able to do some of the variations that I have, or perhaps maybe you have more opportunity for, for variations than I do and can do things kind of how you choose. Uh, so with those things being said, we'll go ahead and move into this. So I wanna, I wanna say that my program is laid out as a one, three, and five as an undulation for reps. I lay, this, I lay this program out onto a calendar. And so what I did is I picked variations for each of the movements. So I have seven variations for each squat, bench, and dead. And then what I did is I randomized those variations just so that I wasn't having a personal bias or an, you know, making a selection um, purposefully, but I was just kind of randomized. The reason why I did that is I wanted to kind of surprise myself and feel what it would be like to have like a coach tell me what I'm doing on that on any given day because I didn't want to build any bias in my mind about what it was that I was doing. I just want to look at the calendar and be able to know, okay, hey, this is what I'm doing for the day. So I program, I put the program together uh, on the front end of it, lay it out for literally months at a time. And that way <coughs> I have the opportunity to kind of just brain dump whatever, what was when, and I have to go back to the calendar and take a look at what I'm doing for that day. And just kind of keeps things fresh and exciting for me. You can do it differently if you choose, but that's kind of what I wanted to do because like, I don't, I wanted to have that surprise of, oh God, this is what today is. Um, my program is laid out Monday through Friday. Monday is my uh, max effort squat. Tuesday is my dynamic effort bench. Wednesday is my, my deadlift. I don't have a dynamic effort for deadlift, so it was all just maximal effort dead. Uh, Thursday is my dynamic effort squat. And then Friday is my maximal effort bench. That's how things are arrayed out. And then what I would do is I take these variations and I'll go through them. I have a squat, a regular squat bar, so just a normal squat with a squat bar, so competition style. 
Duffalo Bar, SSB, Zercher, Anderson, Hatfield, and then Front Squat. For bench, I have Axle, American Bar, Reverse American Bar, which is kind of like a board press, Pin Press, Floor Press, Incline, Blakely, and then Deadlift, I have a Deadlift Bar, which is just a uh, kind of a competition style deadlift, Trap Bar, Stiff Bar, Block Pole, Deficit Pole, Sumo, and RDL. If you happen to not know what any of those are, you can look them up because I'm not gonna explain it just for brevity purposes. Um, but these are the varieties and the variations that I picked. You may choose to do different variations, again, based on your personal circumstances, and also based on your personal weaknesses or strengths. If there happens to be a thing that you know you're just super good at, you may wanna leave that out just to be able to get more training value, especially if you're already good at something, you know, you don't really need to train it. But if you happen to know one of these varieties you're particularly weak on, you might want to include that in there because if you can make that weakness a strength, well, that's just growth right there, right? Okay, so once I have all my, 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 my uh, variations laid out, like I said, I randomized them just to kind of surprise myself. And then what I did is I just took my calendar based on where I am in time. So if you were going to do this today, I might say, okay, today is Saturday, December 18th. Then I would... Well, I would start next week and I would lay out my Monday, which is going to be my squat. So whatever, let's just say this is the randomized variety. So I, on, on Monday, I would have my squat bar squat. Uh, I would have my, um, my uh, deadlift bar deadlift on, on Wednesday and I'd have an axle bar bench press on Friday. Then what I do is I, I, I do these one, three, five. So I have this undulation. So my Monday, I would hit a one rep squat bar. On Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday, I would hit uh, a three rep deadlift bar. And on Friday, I would hit a five rep axle. Um, and so that undulation allows me to kind of decrease stress in terms of going to, you know, one rep max. And so what I was doing with this is essentially with that undulation, I was attempting to avoid having deloads. So I would hit only one real heavy lift um, per week on any given week. Then week two, I would do three, five, one. So the first week was one, three, five, and I basically just move a digit over. So then I go three, five, one. And then the third week I go five, one, three. And basically just repeated that process on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I just auto-filled for all my varieties until I built out uh, my calendar with all seven varieties, however long in time that took. So from uh, September, you know, I had it filled out past November. Um, so that's kind of how I had things filled out. And then beyond that, beyond just the, the straight bar weight varieties of each movement, you could also incorporate chains and you could also incorporate bands, each of which is a different movement, right? So then you would have, for again, just for example, you could have a straight bar squat with uh, your squat bar with straight bar weight, that's one variety. Then you could do the same thing with chains that's a different variety. And then you could do the same thing with bands. That's a different variety. And so my intent was to run through all variations with just straight bar weight. And after I had completed each variation with straight bar weight, then I would add bands. And then I would go through again and run all varieties for the whole block with bands. And then after that, I would do chains. And then after that, I could finally come back around to the straight bar weight and potentially hit new one rep maxes on each of those movements and just keep doing that through time. So this is something that you can continue to do kind of ad nauseum and essentially forever because there's enough variety in there where you're really not gonna get too beat up and broke down over time on any one movement because you're constantly changing things. So that's how my main effort, my maximal effort days go. Um, again, if I'm unclear or you have any questions, you know, please hit me up or write me a, a comment or an email to try to clarify and I will. Now for the dynamic effort days. Dynamic effort days are my squat and my bench. And for that, I just happen to pick a variety of that movement for that day. The, the variety for, for all intent and purpose is kind of immaterial. It's just what I want to do. And I try to pick something that I haven't done in a while. So if I've been using straight bar weight, I might you throw a band in. Or if I've been doing bands for you know a week or two, I might do some chains. I also might change up the variety in terms of how I do the movement. It might be a box squat. It might be an SSB squat. It might, you know, I might use different bars. So I do throw in variety into my dynamic effort days, right? So, but the rep scheme and stuff is always the same. 
I go three reps for three sets um, of threes. So essentially, uh, with my bench, for example, for my first set, I'll have my close hand grip. I'll hit one, two, three, right, on my, on my bench. Give it a, a few seconds, lay down, one, two, three. Give it a few seconds after I rack it, rest, and then again, one, two, three. So I hit uh, nine reps of my, um, of my close grip bench in very quick succession. And then it's my partner's turn. Then when it's my turn again, I move my hands out to a different hand position, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So nine total reps with the middle grip. And then after that, uh, for my last set, I'll do again the widest grip, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, nine reps. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to move as quickly as I can, and that's a critical element. So the weight or how I set things up is kind of immaterial. The important factor is having the speed. And for that, I use a VBT. This is the Squats and Science Open Barbell, and it's a velocity measuring device. So as this pull chain moves, there's a digital readout that tells me how fast the bar is moving. My intent for speed day is to move at a meter per second. So as long as I'm moving at or very near meter per second, that's what I want. Um, and so again, the, the, the variety of what I'm doing, how I set up the weight is almost immaterial for me. I wanna make sure that I'm not doing the same thing all the time and I'm not doing it the same way all the time. So I have some variety in there. Um, but essentially, if I'm moving at a meter per second, I've hit my target. Um, now, to explain the warm-ups, right? So what I do before I actually get into my training, and this is for my maximal effort day and for my dynamic effort day, I do the winning warm-up. So if you're not familiar with the winning warm-up, please go check out Matt Winning and his channel. He's got videos very explicitly explaining the winning warm-up, but essentially what I do is I pick a few movements that hit muscle groups that are going to be activated for that day of training. For example, on my, on my maximal effort bench day, I will come in and I'm gonna do something that's gonna affect my triceps. I'm gonna do something that will probably affect my shoulders. I might also do something that will affect my chest, but also I'm gonna do something that's gonna affect my back because your back is heavily involved in the bench press. So I'm always mixing some kind of a variety of those muscle groups, movement for those muscle groups, into that winning warm-up. I hit uh, four, four different movements total. So I might do you know, one tricep, I might do one back, one shoulder, and then one chest. It's 25 reps each. So 25 of the, of the tricep, 25 of the back, 25 of the shoulder, and 25 of the, um, of the chest, right? Once I go through those, you know, that, that first uh, iteration of four, I come back around and do it again. So I do a total of four rotations through uh, each of those movements. So for each movement, by the time I'm done, I've done a total of 100 working reps for each of those movements. And so obviously the weight needs to be uh, sufficient to be somewhat taxing, but not so sufficient where you can't get through 25 reps. Obviously you're having trouble completing the reps and you need to lower the weight. But I pick those, you know, those, those movements and I just pick them off the top of my head. I don't pre-program them. I don't have any, you know, you know kind of uh, groundwork or, or a framework for how I do that. I just know the different muscles that are involved in those movements. And then I just pick them or I prioritize movements that hit the heavy movers of those movements. In other words, triceps are always in my bench day because triceps are essentially the main mover for your bench. So there's always a tricep in my bench day. There's always uh, some hamstring work on my leg days because hamstrings are super, super critical and having strong posterior is something that many people don't focus on. So prioritizing posterior based movements is something that I do a lot of for both my upper and my lower uh, focus training days. All right, I think that's pretty sufficient in the explanation of what it is that I do and how I do it. There could be questions that you guys have and if there are, uh, I would encourage you guys to go ahead and write me an email or leave a comment in the chat box below if there's something that you were unclear about or want me to explain a little bit more in detail. But that is the program that I've been running for up to the point that I had started having some health issues. And now I'm essentially doing the same thing without the undulation, I'm just hitting fives. You can tailor or tweak this program to fit your schedule. 
You can you know, alter things up as best as you want or as much as you want uh, for whatever your various and diverse goals are. Uh, but this is essentially how I went about doing what I'm doing. And then that's how I went about constructing my program. So for any of you that are out there that you know, don't have a program don't, don't know what to do in terms of being trying, trying to focus on getting stronger, this will definitely help you. Um, that's it, guys. Like I said, questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in some way, shape, or form, or leave me a comment in the box below if you liked the video, and certainly hit me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if this might be helpful for you. Uh, that'd be great, too. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for your continued support, especially Sabrina and Scott. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. I hope that you guys are all well, and that's everybody, everybody. Um, and yeah, you know, if you've checked out a few videos and haven't subbed up yet, I wish that you would. Make my holiday wishes come true. That'd be pretty cool. Do 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 Santa gains a little a little justice, that'd be sweet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. And remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like have a sweet program to carry you into the new year to get super swollen buff on, <laughs> like this one will. Um, it's never gonna happen if you don't get into train spite. You're gonna find an excuse, you're gonna find a way, and I hope that you guys continue to find a way. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays. Yeah. Despite fitness out. Peace. I was, wait, I was waiting for you to do your thing. You like. I you, did. You were hesitating. I was waiting for you to do the piece. The piece. Oh, I gotta do the piece before you do the thing? Because sometimes that's not how that works. Well, I just did Santa it. Santa Gaines is very disappointed in you. You've been a bad elf. Peace. <laughs> So good. The ball raising, we keep moving it up. Ain't no surprises here, they knew it was us. Apologies if I was doing too much, but I always came through in the clutch. I got faith restored, why you pushing the brakes? I ain't full of myself, boy, I'm full of mistakes. I came from humbling roots, I'm here to stand and deliver. Had no 